Welcome back Galactic Citizens. It's January the 12th, 2020 and it's never been a more exciting time to be a Star Wars fan. This is Grand Moff Tarkin. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now one thing about Star Wars is that we do know that there are so many unanswered questions about the Sith, Jedi and Star Wars universe in general. So in today's episode of Star Wars Explained, we are going to talk about 10 most powerful Sith relics that were possessed by Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> Number 10. Sith Chalice The Sith Chalice was an incense burner used by the ancient Sith in certain meditation rituals. At some point before the Battle of Coruscant, it was retrieved from the planet Malachor and placed in the office of Supreme Ca Chancellor Sheev Palpatine of the Galactic Republic, who was secretly a Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Sidious. Number 9. Great Crystal of Antonai A massive pulsating red crystal, the Great Crystal of Antonai was recovered by Darth Sidious sometime during his life and would come to be kept in the Chancellor Palpatine Surgical Reconstruction Center until the end of the Clone Wars. Preserved within the facility central chamber, the crystal was kept in secret to all of the med center stuff. Number 8. Sith Scrolls the ancient Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Andadu, was the author of many Sith scrolls which are kept in his fortress on his homeworld of Prakit. During the reign of Emperor Palpatine, one of his hands, Roganda Ismaren, obtained and studied ancient Sith scrolls that contained knowledge of the forgotten art of Mech Deru. Another of Palpatine's hands, Lumia, discovered a Sith tome on Zyost that provided detailed instructions for the construction of a Sith light whip. Another still of the Emperor's servant known as Black Hole also acquired Sith scrolls that he used to further his knowledge of the dark side of the Force. Number 7. Mask of Viceroy Exim Panshard The Mask of Viceroy Exim Panshard was an ancient Sith artifact. Made of a smooth, burnished, meteoritic metal, it was prepared with tiny hammered devotes and featured eyes of black glass, but no mouth or nose. Where the mouth should have been was a line of a black rivets. According to Yupe Tashu, an advisor to Galactic Emperor Palpatine who ended up acquiring the artifact, Panshard's mask contained the screams of a hundred innocents who were once slaughtered for the Viceroy pleasure. Eventually, Tashu ended up entrusting the mask to Kiza, one of the acolytes of the beyond. Number 6. Spirit Urn a spirit urn was an ornament vase on a pedestal used by the Order of the Sith Lords to store important items such as the remains of a deceased Sith Lords. At the entrance of his private office on Coruscant, the Supreme Chancellor of the Galactic Republic, Palpatine, who was secretly a Sith Lord, kept two black spirit urns, one of which contained the ashes of his Sith Master, Darth Plagueis. Number 5. The Mask of Lord Momin The Mask of Lord Momin was a mask worn and sculpted by the Sith Lord Momin. It was eventually captured by the Jedi Order and placed in the Order's archives in the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. After the hunt and death of Chief Liberian Yocasta Nu, Darth Sidious took the mask for himself before he gave it to his Sith apprentice Darth Vader. It was eventually stored on the Imperialis. Number 4. Sith Wayfinders Wayfinders were ancient piece of technology created by both the Jedi and Sith as a means of navigating challenging stretches of space. They were created through the study of the brains of Pergils, space-faring megafauna who could travel through hyperspace by biological means. Both religions choose to imbue their Wayfinders with the Force, requiring a Force user to activate the Wayfinder, so that secrecy and safety was ensured. Jedi Star Compasses were designed similar to Wayfinders. Number 3. Sith Holocrons Sith Holocrons were devices used by the Sith that were capable of containing information. 
Although their function was similar to that of Jedi holocrons, they usually were pyramids, whilst the Jedi holocrons were of cuboid shape and were accessible only to those who were able to control the dark side of the Force. The Jedi Order considered these to be some of the most dangerous artifacts in the galaxy. During the early rebellion against the Galactic Empire, Ezra Bridger found a Sith holocron inside the Sith Temple on Malakor and kept it following the events there. Number 2. Sith Medallion the Sith Medallion was a medal that was given out by students at the Sith Academy on Korriban during the Jedi Civil War. Best owed upon Sith hopefuls who had shown some degree of facility with the Force or who had otherwise impressed a student. These medallions signified their preliminary acceptance into the Academy. Once accepted, the device served as a pass to enter the Academy itself after having left. Number 1. Darth Revan Mask During the early skirmishes of the Mandalorian Wars, this mask belonged to a Mandalorian female. In 3973 BBY, the mask remained on the shores of the Outer Rim, planet Qatar, after the woman death during the Mandalorian's attack on the world. Ten years later, the mask was pivotal in the Jedi Knight effort to find evidence of the Qatar species genocide. Revan claimed the woman's mask as his own, vowing not to remove it until the Mandalorian Neo-Crusaders were defeated permanently. One year after Revan and his faction of Jedi successfully defended the Galactic Republic and vanquished the Mandalorians, Revan declared himself the new Dark Lord of the Sith and ignited the Jedi Civil War. Darth Revan wore the mask up until his capture by the Jedi Order. So anyways guys, with that being said, let me know what do you think about Sith relics and what is your favorite one. If you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop thumbs up for this video to support our channel. I thank you also very much for your kind support and until next video, may the force be with you always.